I have purchased a tiny, 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 tiny SD's uh, Proto X quadcopter, which has a, you know, the, from the center of these blades, it, you know, the pitch is two inches. Um, so the the reason I, I I bought such a small quadcopter was that I wanted to have a very large difference between the size of the quadcopter and the chamber, so that there's less of a reason to believe that any effects um, from the size of the chamber are affecting the flight. Um, anyhow, so I have charged this up and what I'm going to do rather than a, an incremental test is I'm just going to go straight down to uh, 7 millibars and see if this will fly. Today is October 23rd, 2014. So one of the things I have to do is turn on the power to the uh, quadcopter. Uh, there's a tiny little switch right here and the uh, problem I have is that it's going to take about 10 minutes for the uh, vacuum to build up and I don't want to lose battery power but I happen to have a very fancy uh, controller that allows me to shut these LEDs off so I'm going to do that. Okay the uh, quadcopter is powered up and the Reference LEDs are temporarily shut down, so hopefully uh, most of the battery power will be there 10 minutes from now. I have no reason to think it won't be. Okay, I started the uh, vacuum pump, and the uh, meter doesn't really kick in until it starts to see something approaching a hard vacuum, so there's no display at the moment. Uh, I'm going to just, for my own peace of mind, make sure that the quadcopter is still awake. I'm going to just cycle its LEDs on and off briefly. It's a Hubson controller. If you hit this button right here, this, um, I believe it's a, one of the trim buttons, but you can hold this down, it should cycle the LED. Okay, so that's working. Okay, we've reached uh, about 27 millibars. That was pretty quick, about 10 minutes to uh, pump this down. Um, I won't be able to monitor the vacuum gauge while I'm flying. Um, my plan will be to start flying at approximately 8 millibars. I'll probably start setting up at around 10 millibars. I'll give it a quick peek uh, and launch at, well, I don't know, I, it's hard to say, around 8, maybe 7 millibars, something like that. And I will fly it continuously as best I can as the pressure drops. Uh, not the, the ideal experiment, but uh, I think that will at least give a general sense as to what's going on. Okay, we're at uh, 10 millibars. At 10 millibars, both the back vacuum meter and the camera shut off with the auto timer, so that's really uh, pretty amazing. But anyhow, I'm going to light up the LEDs to show I saw the blink. Come on. Uh oh. Seems to be uh, not working. Oh, we're flying. It's flying, okay. I'm going to, uh, I guess, spin it to the right a little. Spin it to the right. And, uh, it up a little. Okay, I'm going to give it some more power, more power, crank it, full power, right. full power at 8 millibars and we are not flying, we are not flying. Coming down to 8 millibars. We are not flying. Okay. Interesting. I, I'm not surprised. Uh, I was hopeful, but we are not flying. Full throttle. Okay. Uh, I'm going to 
shut this down. I have a slightly bigger quadcopter. Maybe it has a little bit more uh, efficiency overall. I don't know, but uh, this one, this little one right here, is not doing the job. At seven millibars, uh, it is not flying. The question is what what is our pressure? And unfortunately, my pressure gauge is on the outside of my my valve. So to measure that, I measure the pressure, I need to temporarily yeah, let more air in. <laughs> okay, so anyhow, I'm going to let more air in. Uh, I don't know what, what the pressure is. I just want to get a sense for when this thing's going to lift off. Okay. Um, I think um, I'm just going to terminate the experiment and try a different quadcopter. Okay, here's a uh, Hubson X4, which is considerably bigger than the Proto X from Estes. Um, I bought this really to get my hands on the controller, but uh, decided, okay, well, it doesn't hurt to have another quadcopter. Uh, right now it's just waiting for a link from the controller. I'm going to do that and I'm going to see if I can shut down the LEDs on this too. And see if I can make this one fly. Okay, we're coming down to about 26 millibars. Um, I think rather than pumping it all the way down to 7 millibars, the Mars equivalent, I'm going to uh, do my first test, maybe my only test, at around 20 millibars or whatever. Uh, as soon as I can get set up here. And, uh, you know, under the uh, assumption that if it won't uh, lift off at 20 millibars, there's really no point in pumping the chamber down to 7 millibars. So um, I'm going to uh, shut off the camera briefly and get set up, and then I'm going to try lifting off at 20. If it looks like I have signs of lifting off at 20, I will terminate, let it pump down a little bit more, and try again. Okay, we're coming up on 20 millibars. Let me uh, turn on the LEDs. Uh, I see a flashing LED from this angle, so evidently the uh, copter is alive. But let me turn on the main LEDs, the uh, navigation LEDs, and we can see this before. Okay, LEDs are on. Link is established, no flashing, main flashing lights. Uh, navigation lights are solid, so okay. I'm just going to uh, give it some throttle. We're at around 19 millibars. Bring it up, bring it up. Looks like we're getting a little bit of something here. Uh, oh, something uh, did not. Okay. But it uh, seems to be have a fail safe. Seems to be shutting down the motors uh, once they over spin. But, as you can see, uh, we're not getting any light. Okay, uh, we're continuing to depressurize, which does not help the situation. But it's, uh, okay, well, I would say that uh, at that pressure we're not, we're not uh, working. Okay, unfortunately this Pressure gauge uh, only kicks on at about uh, 32 millibars, about one inch of mercury. Uh, and at this point, I, I believe it's probably a little bit more pressure inside there. Uh, the way the rotors are behaving suggests that there isn't much air inside there. They coast for a long time. Um, but anyhow, uh, I, we'll, we'll just sort of roughly say that we're somewhere north of uh, one inch of mercury, north of uh, 32 millibars and just to get a sense for what if we're even close um, I'm going to just going to punch it and see if it if it jumps nope okay I'm going to let a little more air in it's kind of interesting you know it's kind of a weird uh, Weird thing. Let me just zoom in on this, uh, just to kind of make a nice record of what a quadcopter looks like when it doesn't have any air. 
This is what a quadcopter looks like when it does not have any air. <laughs> okay, enough, enough. Okay, uh, this is at an air pressure of about two inches of mercury, perhaps. Um, uh, maybe 50 millibars. I'm, I'm not quite sure. My gauge uh, only kicks in when I'm getting closer to a real vacuum. But this is a quadcopter. It's, you know, this is what quadcopters, how they perform when there's very little air. Okay. Uh, interestingly, the motors aren't shutting down like they were when I was closer to a Mars type atmosphere. They, they were over spinning and I think the interior computer assumed that it had lost its propeller and shut the motor down. Um, at any rate, here we are um, still adding a little bit of air but still we're not getting any liftoff. <laughs> 